Hey guys, I've got a uh, great review for you today. I'm going to be uh, going over Mijenta uh, Tequila. I think I pronounced it correctly. Uh, I bought this bottle not too long ago. Um, I had this for the first time at the AMTA convention in El Paso. We went to a kind of a nice restaurant for a business meeting. They had a fairly extensive uh, tequila menu and I was picking through with a tequila matchmaker, which uh, if you guys have not looked at, it's an app you can download trying to find, in my case, the most important part is additive free tequilas. I found Mahenta uh, on that list and decided to go ahead and check that out. So I had not a small snifter like this. Um, I had, a, it was almost like a little wine glass and I could set it down on the table and it had a bottom, like a flanged base that I could go ahead and just swirl the tequila around and smell it. And this had a fairly interesting flavor profile. The more Blancos I've tried, the more I like, uh, the more I've been fixated on Blancos. I'm not as interested at this stage in Reposados and Añejos. Not that I won't drink them, by the way, but I just really, really take in the Blancos and looking for the complexity of this uh, particular drink. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this. Um, I have fond association with this because of the packaging because of the rabbit, because of, because of, and in fact, I'll show you, uh, this goes inside here, then I think this goes down. Let's see if I can repackage that, because I actually saved the packaging so you could see, you know, how it fit inside the box. Um, I think the box, this light, light pink kind of color was, was a kind of nice touch. Um, to me, this uh, bottle, is sort of evocative it has um not just because of the pink but the flavors in the tequila itself it's a little more i want to say feminine it just has a certain association to me and i will go to the one thing that i first noticed with this bottle that bothers the hell out of me i don't know what it is about this and it may just be this particular bottle not mahenta as a brand it is the hardest goddamn thing to open and I'm going to sit here for just a second because I'm going to show you how long this is going to take me to get open. I'm trying not to spill any. There we go. I got it. Wow. And that was formerly, uh, frankly, that was pretty fast. It's got like a little flange on it, if you can see this. It's got a little flange and that rubber seal, it seals so tightly with this that I actually spilled a little bit of this several times trying to get it open. So that's my, uh, my first critique and thing that I didn't particularly care for. I'm gonna give me a good hork there. Go ahead and seal that back up. Uh, I do like the bottle um, itself. I, I like, again, the packaging, the color, the label. All of this is, is super nice. The tequila itself, when I first got it, uh, some of the people who were at the convention with me I was uh, passing it around to let, allow them to get a smell. And I think just from a smell standpoint, this might be in one of my top five of what I've had so far of Blancos. I think this might be in one of the top five. Like it's got a great flavor profile. The smell is, um, got a touch not not as bad as some of the additive uh included tequilas that i've had there's a little touch of sweetness on the nose that reminds me of cotton candy but there's vegetal notes it's like it smells slightly spicy um it doesn't smell like overly sweet I'm getting like light agave notes. A little more vegetal. A little bit of alcohol on the nose, a little slight rubbing alcohol, but it's, a, it's coasting and balance and equilibrium with the other flavors.
spicy, sweet, cotton candy, floral, sugar. SipTequila.com is their website. Let's look over just a little bit of this, see what they've uh, got listed here. Again, the Reposado and the Añejos, I'm not uh, quite as interested in. I mean, if, certainly if, if you would like uh, to send me a bottle of this Añejo that's $200, I would be more than happy to sample it. And I want you to know I'm here. I'm here to sacrifice for you if you want to send me a bottle. <laughs> but as I look at it, uh, the Blanco is really, you know, what I'm interested in. Uh, let's see, they got brand, so it's only Magenta. Tasting notes. Let's see, price, category. How's this all broken down? Yeah, additive free. There we go. Here's a little bit of information about the uh, the master distiller. Let me see what else is lit here. Anna Maria Romero. I like that, and I, and I don't know this, I'm just looking at this for the first time. I like the fact that it's made with agaves that are free from pesticide and herbicide treatments. I just assumed that agave was already pesticide free, like they wouldn't have to use a lot of things, but maybe I'm wrong. So the stainless steel tanks, there's some of this that it's a little out of my league. Like if it's roasted in a stainless steel autoclave, the beginning of the clean mineral flavors you'll find in the bottle. Um, I don't know if I can taste that, if I have enough um, of a palate at this point to be able to figure that out. Let's see, shot by brand. Let's see what they got here. All brands. Interesting. What is the tequila club? Sip a gift subscription. Hey, now you're speaking my language. Each delivery three curated, curated premium full sized bottles. Uh, I think I need to exit this immediately. I do not need to spend more money on tequila than I currently do. <laughs> so let's uh, let's pull this up and see. So it's $55 a bottle. You can subscribe and get it. Uh, it gives a little bit more information. Arandas Yalisco. Ana Maria Romero is the master distiller. It says that it's got crisp and sweet Blanco flavor profile, double distilled. The Mahenta, the paper related components are made of gave waste. Interesting. I did not know that. Local biz. I, I like some of the, the additional, the additional stuff. That's kind of nice. Let's see what it says for the tasting notes. Let me move this around so you can see that. White pepper, peaches, vanilla, caramel, pepper. It's always interesting. So I, one of the things I do as well is I try to taste it myself, give you what I get out of it, and then read their tasting notes. And I don't, I just don't have enough of a developed palate. I wouldn't sit down and think to myself, summer melon, honey, cinnamon, cooked agave, white pepper, and butter. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think of that, but I think the butter, the butter is probably the one that sticks out to me the most, probably with the, the summer melon. I like this description, that round finish mark with a dry heat of baking spices. It's just, it's got a little spicy to it. Mahenta, inspired by mi gente, which means my people. Nice. Collective mindset, a way of being, a community of like-minded people come together to celebrate life. Por la tierra, por la gente, por la vida. 
from fire to bottle, Mahenta is committed to sustainable practices, minimizing their environmental impact at every stage and maximizing energy efficiency. Mahenta's paper-related components are made of agave waste and they actively support businesses and communities by purchasing all of their packaging elements in Mexico. Some different uh, reviews there. Interesting. So I, and this is me, I, I like taking tequila as a, a thing, as a package and, you know, finding out more about it, not just from reading the box, not just from reading, reading the information here, but being able to read the information on the website, find out stuff about it that I did not know. I think right now of the bottles I have, which is uh, anywhere from 10 to 15, I think that this is probably in my uh, top five. I'm going to go ahead and give that right now. There's a certain subtle sweetness and complexity to its nose and the flavor profile that the reason I bought the bottle is because of that little sampler I had at the restaurant. I was so taken with that slight like bubblegum cotton candy flavor, but What's been interesting about looking at additive free tequilas is to find out that a lot of the additive filled tequilas I had were mimicking the flavor profiles of bottles like this. They were adding additives to draw out certain things that I was like, well, I've never had it. This is why would tequila taste like bubble gum or cotton candy? Spicy, sweet. I can see why they would say white pepper and not black. The spicy doesn't hit until I swallow. And then there's this, this like burst on my palate of like, what I, I think what it reminds me of is Sichuan peppercorn. There's a certain numbness around a portion of my tongue and a portion of my soft palate on the roof of my mouth, it gets numb for three to five seconds. I don't know what causes that, and I don't know that I've noticed it with other tequilas, but it's not the flavor of Sichuan peppercorn, it's just that mouth sensation that you get from the drink itself. It's clean, it's sweet. Um, one of the things I've loved about Blancos is having enough Reposados and Añejos. Uh, and again, it's not because I won't drink them or don't like them or won't buy the bottles ever again. It's just, I really wanted to get a sense of like what the agave itself tastes like as far as its range of flavor profiles. This is currently of the bottles I have. It's in the top five. Uh, I don't feel the need to, to rate it. I think if I had a choice between the last uh, Salud video I did, I think, or in one of the ones recently, I did a Fortaleza. If I had a choice, I think in my case, knowing what I know, if I'm sitting down with some more aficionados, I could probably have this or the Fortaleza uh, Blanco. If I was serving to a lady friend, this is my bias, the little bit of sweetness the little bit of almost what feels like femininity to the package and that little bit of cotton candy flavor. It's got less vegetal notes offhand than I can think of as the Fortaleza. I think I would serve this to a lady friend probably faster than the Fortaleza. Um, I think this is just a wonderful tequila. I uh, can't say enough good things about it. Even I was surprised to be able to sit down and see the additional information about the packaging, you know, sustainable products in Mexico. I really want to be able to educate and let people know about tequila and its benefits, um, about the flavor profiles coming from it, and just a little bit of information on the website. I feel closer to the brand. Like now, if I go back to the store, this is not quite half gone. If I go back to the store and I realize I don't have a bottle of this, my notion is now stronger that I'll buy another bottle of this because I feel like I'm making a sustainable purchase. 
I'm making a purchase that's helping the people of Mexico and supporting an industry that I care about. And that's one of the things that I find most interesting about doing tequila and beer reviews is getting a sense of what I like, what I don't like, and why I think some of those things are important, not only for sustainable business practices, but for sales and marketing. I have a deeper heart resonance, corazón, with this specific tequila, just because they're letting me know information. I had no idea that the packaging, the paper, the label were made of agave, according to them. In fact, let me see if I uh, if I pulled this up. What's the, uh, let me go over any glasses where they at there over here, because I am blind up close. Let me see what it says over here. So on the package, 80 proof says 100% agave, 40% alcohol by volume. I think it's a legal thing. Our story, our belief is that when the sun secretly meets the moon, that is when the most beautiful McGay plants are born. When they grow, the fields blend with the sky. Oh, come on, really? You're going to make me sad? You're going to make me... I know, it's evocative. Like, you're making me want to go to Mexico. A mesmerized... Uh, the fields blend... Wait. Our belief is that when the sun secretly meets the moon, that is when the most beautiful McGay plants are born. When they grow, the fields blend with the sky and become a mesmerizing gift to humankind. For centuries, the loving hands of skilled ancestral farmers have harvested these precious agaves to become that, a masterpiece. Ah. The Sensong Totoshin, Totoshin is a folk story that tells the tale of Mahayuel, the goddess of the agave plant, and pa Patacatl, the god of Polke whose beautiful union produced 400 mischievous rabbits with a taste for good company, good liquor, and a good time. Our tequila, like all good things in life, is meant to be shared. Enjoy responsibly with friends, food, and music. Best enjoyed with friends. Now, that little bit, did it make you tear up just a little bit? Did it make you feel something? Because I, I have a stronger... Uh, sensation about the brand just from that little bit of information. Um, I think this is a great tequila, the $55 a bottle. Uh, it's less than Cascanes, which uh, I'll be reviewing soon. I want to go over that in, in some detail. Uh, when I go back, it's almost like Hubba Bubba, just a little bit, just a little bit. A little bit of cotton candy. There's almost like a lime or like a citrus note. And do you see the complexity from smell to taste to back again? Smooth, clean, spicy. Ah, that, that burst of almost numbness on my palate and my tongue that reminds me of Sichuan peppercorn. I really... Um, feel good about my stance on sampling tequilas and trying Blancos. This is a wonderful bottle. I really highly recommend that you check out. If you're a fan of something that you want a sipping tequila with you and your lady friend, I think this is a good choice. Um, I'm not doing a lot of mixing. Um, I'll probably cover some other tequilas. You could certainly mix this, I think, into a margarita or anything that you, you care to do if you're into that. Um, I really like sampling tequilas that I think can be drunk on their own as sipping tequilas and enjoyed that way like a good bourbon. But uh, wonderful tequila. Uh, really, really check these guys out. Again, it's siptequila.com. You can check out the others. Uh, if you guys are dying for me to sample the Reposado and the Añejo, I, of course, can be pressured into doing that. Uh, a quicker way would be to send me a bottle. <laughs> but uh, check out Mahenta Tequila. Really wonderful. Uh, really enjoyed reviewing this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys again very soon on Salud with Robert Gardner. And thank you to the people at Mahenta who produce this wonderful wonderful bottle. You guys have a good day.